In this video, I'm going to show you how to use OBS Studio with NDI. First of all, NDI needs to be downloaded on your PC to work with it. So let's download it. Open the Google Chrome web browser. In the search bar, search for NDI tools. Open the first link from here. Now select your PC type from here and download the file. In the top right corner, click on the download button. Wait for the file to be downloaded. After the download is complete, open it. In the pop-up, check the Agree box and click on Next. Wait for the app to be installed. Now you need to register for the app. Register in the app by providing your information and filling out the boxes. Go to Chrome again. Take a new window and search for OBS NDI. This is the link that we are looking for. Both this link and the previous one will be given in the descriptions. On the web page, click on Go to Downloads. On this page, scroll down and select your PC configuration format. I will select the OBS 64 option and save it. Go to the Downloads option again, and after the download is completed, open it. In the pop-up, click on Next three times and install. Now close Chrome and launch OBS. So now that you have installed the NDI tool, you can do two things. You can either output your OBS preview and program screen to another computer, or you can receive it from other OBS outputs, such as cameras or other computers into here. So first I'm going to go over outputting. In the top left menu, click on Tools. In the drop-down menu, you can see an option called Distro AV NDI. Click on it. Turn on the options for both the main output and the preview output. Let's name the main output as OBS Main and the other can stay as OBS Preview. After you're done, click on OK. Now let's check if these two actually work. Minimize OBS and open NDI. In NDI, click on Studio Monitor. In the top left corner, click on the three vertical lines. In the drop-down menu, select Monitor. Here, you can see that both the main and preview scenes are available. Both sources will be available for anyone who is on the same network as me. Now, let's see the input method. In NDI, click on Test Patterns. Here, you can select any screen you like. After selecting the screen, you need to minimize it, not close it. Now, add a scene and click on OK. Now, click on the Add Source button. In the pop-up menu, select the NDI Source. Click on OK. In the Source Name section, click on the Test Pattern. Here, you can see that our test pattern is now visible. You can switch through the scenes and add a bunch of other scenes also. Following these steps, you can stream in NDI using OBS Studio. Feel free to reach out if you encounter any issues during the process. If this video helps you out, please leave a like and subscribe. Comment below if you have any questions. If you need further assistance, consider hiring a professional using the link in this video below.